We are going to take everything we have learned so far, brothers and sisters, up until this point, every single piece of information. And now, brothers and sisters, we're going to take that information and we're going to apply it to the scriptures. We are going to show you that over and over and over again, our Lord and Savior gave us the timing of the escape of the bride. And he did it in very precise detail. Let's go to um, John 1. Let's see what it says in John 1. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's John 2, 1. Okay. It says, And the third day there was a marriage in Cana of Galilee, and that the mother of Jesus was there. And both Jesus was called and his disciples to the marriage. And they wanted wine, and they wanted wine. The mother of Jesus saith unto him, They have no wine. Here it is. And Jesus saith unto her, Woman, what have I to do with thee? Mine hour is not yet come. Mine hour is not yet come. What does hour mean? His season. His season has not come. When he's saying his hour, his season has not come. When is his time? When is his time? Resurrection Sunday. When Passover Sunday becomes Resurrection Sunday, his time, his hour, his season has come. And this is what they're talking about in, in, these, in this, these verses. It's the third day, and there was a marriage in Cana of Galilee. Do you want to see this? Do you want to see this third day? One, two, third day, April 4th, 3380. One, Friday. Two, Saturday, three, Sunday, April 4th, 2033, Passover Sunday turns into Resurrection Sunday. And what is the verse saying? And the third day there was a marriage in Cana. Do you see how it's hiding in scripture, brothers and sisters? He's saying his season, his hour hasn't come. And now we just showed you what that third day is. Resurrection Sunday, when Passover Sunday turns into Resurrection Sunday, his hour has come. And he's talking about a marriage. The marriage covenant that we just went over. The Galilean wedding covenant that he's made to us, his bride. This story is giving a type and shadow of what is to come. He's saying his season has not come. He wasn't crucified yet. This is the beginning of John. He wasn't crucified yet. But when he does get crucified... In 20, I'm sorry, in on April the 4th, 33 AD, it's April the 4th, second Sabbath after the first. Do you see that, brothers and sisters, how it's all coming together now? He's saying his season hasn't come. He's talking about a marriage, but it's not his marriage yet. His season for the marriage hasn't come. Let's get into a little bit more of these definitions here. Watch this. You guys are going to love this next part. Hold on to your hats. This is going to get wild right now. And both Jesus was called and his disciples to the marriage. We could look at this as a type and shadow of us. Jesus is going to be called to the marriage, of course, because he's the bridegroom. And his disciples, us, the bride, called to the marriage. What does called mean? Didn't we see this before? To bid, to call forth, to call. And what did we show? We showed this earlier, didn't we? To hail, to incite by word, to give commandment. To give a commandment. It's the same word we saw before. You want, you want me to show you where you can find this? There's, there's so much going on here, brothers and sisters. There's so much hiding in these scriptures. Jesus was called 
to incite by word, to bid, to bid, to give commandment. Let me show you something else first. Let's go to Revelation 4. 4 1. Just want to show you a little something else. Shout. So we're going to go to Revelation 4 1. Sorry about that. Um, you know what? Let me go, let me go to First Thessalonians first. We'll just we'll come back to that in just a second. Just one second. Let me put this one first. Okay. Shout. For the Lord Himself shall descend from heaven with a shout. Remember, I said we're going to get back to this word. Remember, we said we're going to get back to this. This shout. It's the same word. There it is. To cry to incite. To hail, to give commandment. When the Lord himself shall descend from the heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. This shout, this shout, to incite by word, to give by commandment, is the same word, the exact same word that we find in John 2, when Jesus was called and his disciples to the marriage. Here it is. Same word. The exact same word to call properly, to bid and call forth, to incite, to hail, to give commandment. Same word. What else do we find? Well, we just went over this one for the hour. It's his season. This hour is his season. You're going to love this next part. This next part is just shocking here it comes whenever we read this part and I'm sure a lot of you brothers and sisters have read this and there were set there six water pots of stone after the manner of purifying of the Jews containing two or three firkins so we have six water pots and two or three firkins Six means six, just the number six. So there's six water pots, and it's a water pot, a water jar, water pot, okay? And so we understand this, six water pots. What's that? What does firkins mean? Let's get into this. Firkins is a measure. Six water pots of measure. Six water pots of measure. What's he telling us? What are we to measure? What are we measuring? I want you to keep in keep this in mind because we're going to build on this now. There's six water pots for measure. And what else? When the ruler of the feast had tasted the water that he was made that was made wine and the new and then and knew not whence it was but the servants which drew the water knew the governor of the feast called the bridegroom the governor of the feast called the bridegroom what does this mean you're going to want to remember this because we're going to show you something astounding a little bit later on the governor of the feast, dinner bed, composed of three couches. He's the governor, the ruler of the feast. But it also means a dinner bed, composed of three couches. I want you to remember this. We're going to teach this a little bit later on. And we will come back to it, so I'll remind you. The governor of the feast means a dinner bed composed of three couches. So the governor called the bridegroom. Type and shadow of the, our Lord God calling upon Yahshua HaMashiach. When? When he knew. To be aware. To have knowledge. To understand. So the servants were to draw the water when they had knowledge and they were aware. And then the governor of the feast called the bridegroom. I want you to think about this for a second. We are the servants, brothers and sisters. The bride of Christ is the servants. 
And we're drawing the waters of who? We taught this in one of our last videos. Who's the water? Who's the living water? Yahshua HaMashiach. When we draw the waters of Yahshua HaMashiach, and we knew, when we are aware, when we have knowledge, and we have understanding, I want to say that again. When the bride of Christ, the servants, draw the waters of Yahshua HaMashiach, and we are aware, and we have knowledge and understanding, then the governor, Lord God, calls the bridegroom. Do you see it, brothers and sisters? Do you see how that's playing out? Oh, we're going to show it. I just, I'm just building on it, and I'm going to show you exactly where this falls and exactly how it plays out. And you're going to be shocked where you see how this plays out. But look what he's telling us. When do we know? When do the servants know and have knowledge and they're aware of a timeline? How about six firkins? Measure. So what are we looking for, brothers and sisters? We're looking for a time where we have a unit of six, six measures when the servants will know, when they will have knowledge. Isn't that what this says? When they will have knowledge and they're aware and they're going to understand. Six units of measure when the servants will know and be aware and have knowledge. And then the governor, Lord God, calls upon the bridegroom. You want to see this? Do you want to see this? Watch this. Add six years of measure to April 4th, 2015. Six years of measure to 2014. Boom. 2021, April 4th, the exact date. The exact date and time, six units of measure, six firkins from April 4th, 2015 till April 4th, 2021. When what? When the servants knew. When the servants knew and were aware. Aren't you being made aware right now, brothers and sisters, with this video? I want this to impact all of you right here, right now, at this very moment. As I'm speaking, you knew and you know. You are now being made aware. You now have knowledge. You now understand that the six units of measure, that the servants, when they knew it, the governor, Lord God, called upon the bridegroom. Bam. Right here. Six units of measure. Six years to the date. And you knew, and I knew, and now we all know that this is the six units of measure that we're being told that when we are aware and we have knowledge and we have understanding, the governor of the feast calls upon the bridegroom. Drop the mic. This, brothers and sisters, by all means, is the date that we are now aware of, that we have knowledge of, that we have understanding of, when the governor, Lord God, calls the bridegroom to come get his bride. Do you see it, brothers and sisters? Do you see it?